Hey guys, Coach Julian here. In this video, I'm going to go through an ETF that promises over 14% yield per year. Wow, that sounds really good. Too good to be true? Let's take a look. The ticker is QQQI, uh, NEOS NASDAQ 100 High Income ETF. NEOS has a summary of this here on their website. So basically they're saying monthly distribution, annual yield is 14.42, which means that you're going to get over 1% per month if it sticks to the 14.42. Expense ratio is 0.68, a little higher than let's say an index ETF because this is considered a managed ETF. If you download the fact sheet, ticker QQQI, exposure is NASDAQ 100. It's got the expense ratio we spoke about, distributes monthly. Inception date is early 2024. It's got a couple of codes here. And basically it promises high monthly income generation, tax efficient, potentially lower volatility, professional options management. Some of the top holdings, Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, Amazon, Broadcom, a bunch of companies we know that are solid. And all these represent what, maybe 30% of the uh, fund. So, I mean, good companies in the fund. And here they describe the potential use case. QQQI may be considered as an alternative to existing core equity allocations to provide ta a tax efficient monthly income stream while maintaining the opportunity for upside participation when market conditions warrant. Key features are seeks high monthly income, tax efficient option strategy and ETF structure and potential upside equity participation. I think they're doing a good job at selling the fund. They're hitting all the buzzwords. Portfolio management team is Garrett Powell. Lela, Troy Cates, 25, Ryan Holton, 23 years. So they do a good job at selling the fund saying, wow, okay, we're following the NASDAQ 100. We're promising 14, over 14% yield. We've got a really good team of experienced people. And I did check to see if there's some bad rap on these guys and I didn't find any, but I really did a very quick search on the web. Do your own due diligence. Let's take a look at um, how this ETF has performed since the beginning. I use Y charts, as you know, we can have an idea the volatility started in January. Peak was 51.27, 51.27. 28 and low point is 48.10. If we look at the dividend distribution, we can see if they did what they said they would do and distribute over 1% per month. February was the first distribution at 59.4 cents, then March 60.5 cents, end of April 58.7 cents, and uh, finally just recently May 22nd 61.3 cents. 61.3 is over 1% at a price of 50.64. So far, it seems like they've delivered the yield that they promised. So here's my take on QQQ. I, I like like the 14%, the management team seems, seems to be good, uh, competent. I like the fact that there's some equity upside, the fact that it's following the NASDAQ 100. All in all, it sounds really nice and it could do a good job at selling this fund. They use a lot of the buzzwords, um, but my concern with it is that it's a new fund. It doesn't have a proven track record, so it still has to, it has to prove itself, uh, see if the managers can deliver on that high yield. And uh, a lot rests on the skills and reputation of the management team. My take on it is if you have a bit of money laying around and you want to give this a try, give it a shot but don't bet the farm on it certainly don't put more than five percent of your portfolio in this in this ETF or uh, any given stock for, for that matter and then track it and of course as usual do your own research and or talk to a professional before investing if you want me to look at any other ETFs or stocks uh, let me know if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions and want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me there's a link to my Calendly in the description of the video below and don't forget to subscribe because I have more videos coming your way take care guys and we'll see you real soon.